The news that the S23 Ultra will feature a primary camera with a resolution of 200 megapixels is quite exciting. Finally, so good news. Nevertheless, the good news for Samsung enthusiasts has not yet come to an end, since Qualcomm will soon release the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for the Samsung S23 Ultra. I am so thrilled to announce that Samsung is joining Snapdragon Pro Series as the presenting partner for 2023. So join us today as we discuss the new Samsung S23 Ultra upgraded processor, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. During its Galaxy Unpacked event in August, Samsung introduced the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and the Galaxy Z Fold 4. However, a few days before the launch, it was anticipated that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra would have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU. According to the listing, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will have a 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 CPU design with a base frequency of 2.2 GHz and a central core that can reach speeds of up to 3.6 GHz. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 conference is already underway, and the opening keynote has been presented. Following this, we will report on the summit's findings. Nonetheless, according to benchmarks that have been leaked online, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra might be slower than the iPhone 14 Pro. Also, One UI 5 based on Android 13 is the default operating system for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Snapdragon Summit Qualcomm believes that the new platform which consists of a new hexagon processor with improved architecture, aids in accelerating operations that rely more heavily on AI, such as translations and camera functions. Qualcomm adds that these enhancements will make it possible to add additional camera-related functionality. Qualcomm's Snapdragon site is where the company's 8 Gen 2 image processing enhancements are unveiled, using the world's first cognitive image signal processor to improve photographs and videos in real time. Using a neural network trained by artificial intelligence, the camera can recognize and independently enhance details like faces, hair, clothing, and the sky. Additionally, Qualcomm expanded help for cutting-edge sensors like Samsung's 200-megapixel ISOCELL HP3, which resulted in a partnership between the two companies. Regarding gaming, the Snapdragon Elite Gaming covers all the bases, and the addition of real-time hardware-accelerated ray tracing should boost the visual quality of compatible titles. Samsung is also excited about how gaming will be enhanced on its flagship phones. We have seen how esports has risen to a top global sport, and we are thrilled to be part of this important cultural event moving forward. This is a unique opportunity for us to demonstrate the power and competitive advantage of gaming on Samsung Galaxy devices, and to spotlight how they deliver immersive, lightning fast, and smooth gaming experiences powered by Snapdragon. We're excited to get Samsung Galaxy devices in the hands of Snapdragon Pro Series gamers and to partner with Qualcomm and EFG to take mobile esports to the next level. Thank you. The Adreno Graphics Processing Unit is up to 25% quicker, and Cryo Central Processing Unit is up to 40% more efficient than the 8 Gen 1. It will also assist with battery life, despite the fact that the S23 Ultra will most likely arrive with the same battery size as the S22 Ultra, but more on that soon. Concerning audio, support for lossless 48K Hz files has been added to Snapdragon Sound Spatial Audio, which will also be seen in the 8 Gen 2. To optimize download rates, latency, coverage, and battery consumption for 5G, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will leverage AI. Snapdragon Secure safeguards everything, so for instance, it can tell if someone is looking over your shoulder and even lock the screen if it thinks you have left it unattended. Well, these aren't the only new developments the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will bring, and we shall cover more on its features in our upcoming videos, so subscribe in order not to miss out. Battery The Galaxy S23 Plus has a 4,565 mAh battery, although users should anticipate an average of 4,700 mAh. For context, the S22 Plus was rated as 4,370 million hours, but had an actual capacity of 4,500 million hours. That's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Battery capacity for the Galaxy S23 Ultra is expected to be about 5,000 million hours in practice, and 4,855 million hours in theory. A 5,000 million hour battery is significant for a flagship phone, even if it doesn't get much better. How sure are we about this? Well, that is because leaker Ice Universe tweeted it. Per the tweet, 
The size of the Galaxy S23 Ultra is almost unchanged from that of the S22 Ultra, with only an increase of 0.1 to 0.2 mm, 5000 mAh, 8.9 mm thickness, and still a 6.8 inch 3088 by 1440 screen. As long as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Plus 1 UI 5.1 is excellent, the appearance can remain the same. With that in mind, we recall that we found the S22 Ultra to have only mediocre battery life. However, we were here hoping that Samsung's new chipset will help it get even better so we can use it for an extended period of time. According to Qualcomm, Gen 2 chipset equipped smartphones will hit the market by year's end. The Galaxy S23 Ultra will undoubtedly have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. Well, you may be aware of the 200 megapixel camera. If not, Watch our video on the upcoming Samsung S23 Ultra 200 megapixel main camera. Cool feature to watch for more information.